Lots of uh, celebrities uh, have boats docked down here, and if you, uh, if I zoom in a little bit, uh, we can check out this one. Now, it might not seem much to look at, but this is Paul McCartney's personal yacht. Hello you, and uh, welcome to the final UK vlog of, well, summer really, summer 2018. Uh, we'll be back in the UK in October, but this is the last one in the UK because I'm off to sunny Greece. So I'm in my local town, uh, which is Newark upon Trent. Quite pretty, isn't it? Look. And uh, got lots of things to do today. First of all, I'm gonna get my hair sorted out because I'm looking old and my hair is resembling a haystack. So we're gonna get that sorted. Uh, also, I've got a dead phone. Uh, if you've been uh, following me on my Facebook, uh, you will notice that my phone uh, just basically died. So we need to try and get that sorted out too. Uh, pretty important too, because I do my live streams from my mobile phone. So without the phone, there is no live streams. And that's speaking of live streams, let's turn you around so you can get a look at the town. Uh, speaking of live streams, uh, there's going to be a scheduling change. So uh, next week we're back in Thailand with a little vlog of something you might want to consider doing on a rainy day in Pattaya. Uh, but after that, I will kind of just be in Greece. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to bring forward the live stream to a week on Tuesday, which is the day before I go to Greece. We'll do the live stream then. And then Friday, I'll try and put up a vlog of either the journey to Greece, which I've done before, or maybe we'll have a little look around uh, East Midlands Airport to see the improvements that they have done in my little regional airport. So yeah, the live stream will be moving. There won't be one uh, in two weeks time, uh, but I will move it forward to the Tuesday. This is our theatre, by the way. Uh, it's called the Palace Theatre. I always have a laugh with my old man about this because the Palace Theatre always claim when they announce their new season of events that there is something for everyone. And there is something for everybody if you like tribute bands. Uh, so let's have a look in their box office window to see if they're actually uh, advertising a play or if as usual it's just tribute acts. Let's have a look. <laughs> Here we go. Fantastic. And as predicted, The Carpenter's Story tribute act. And Barry Steele, the Roy Orbison 30 year special tribute act. Brilliant. Uh, this is the National Civil War Center. So if you are into uh, the Civil War, Newark Castle played a uh, big part in that. So you can always check that out. It's very historic, is Newark upon Trent. I want to have a wander, see if we can uh, get ourselves into the, into the Market Square, which is pretty picturesque. And also that we have this uh, massive church of uh, St. Mary Magdalene. If you've been following my vlogs, you probably know that I'm not really an officiado on churches. But look, it's a gorgeous day. I mean, here in England, for like the last couple of weeks or so, we've had some really, really good weather. I mean, obviously it's not Thailand good weather. It's not like 33 degrees or anything, but it is. It's about 23, 24 degrees today. And I'd rather be sat outside in my Muscombe Ferry beer garden than chasing up a broken phone. But hey ho, we gotta do what we gotta do. Lots of people coming on uh, my vlogs and commenting, bestie, big fat bestie, BFB, when are you back in Thailand? And uh, the plan is January and February, if all goes well in Greece, if I can save my pennies, look at this church. Very pretty. Um, yeah, if all goes to plan, January, I will hopefully be traveling around doing some of the islands and uh, some places I've not been to in Thailand before. And then February, I think I'll do a month in Pattaya as usual. So it's not market day today. It is a 
Thursday. So unfortunately, I can't show you the bustling market of New York on Trent because market day is Wednesday. But there's a few, a few stalls set up anyway. Well, look at this for a Vista. It's not bad, is it? So I'm going to find my uh, phone repair shop and. Uh, I will bring you back with the good or the bad news and then later on I'm going to be telling you why people in their mid 40s should not buy or wear skinny jeans uh, but right now uh, I went a couple of weekends ago down to London and I went on a Jack the Ripper trail so let's see how we got on down there Hello you, it's a gloriously sunshiny day. Uh, I'm Big Fat Bestie and uh, welcome to this place over here. So we started off on this little sundial, but it's not about the sundial at all. It's about... This place here it is the Tower of London. So if you're planning on committing treason or less majest, then off with your head. So today's vlog comes to you from the uh, nation's capital of London and uh, right now uh, we're walking down a place called St Catherine Docks uh, not St Catherine's Dock, bizarrely enough, but St Catherine Docks and uh, it's lovely. I used to work down here on a, a big yacht uh, where we used to do stag do's and uh, hen do's and all kinds of private parties and I got to stay over here and it was really, really nice. So me and uh, BFB's bestie, bestie's bestie, have uh, come along the dockside before we go on an exciting tour, but more of that later. In fact, this is exactly where my boat, well my boat, yeah, the boat that I used to work on, used to be parked, right next to this pub here called the Dickens Inn, which is where we're going for our uh, afternoon drinks today. Sunshine. Pironi, boats, ashtray, happiness. So as promised, uh, we are just by Aldgate East tube station. And why are we here? Well, lots of people who uh, watch the Thai vlogging scene and uh, quite a few of the uh, Thai vloggers themselves really don't like prostitutes. So this part of the vlog is just for you because uh, I'm on a tour to check out a guy who really didn't like prostitutes. We're going on the Jack the Ripper tour. He killed loads of them. Jack the Ripper, walking tour. Let's give you a sense of the uh, area of uh, these 18th century houses. Some guys just uh, walk past with a spliff on, so the uh, whole street stinks of weed. We were told at the start of this tour that no one knows who Jack the Ripper was and how many exactly he killed. He certainly killed at least five. People have speculated that he may be a surgeon. I'm pretty sure it was Larry Grayson. By the murderer himself. Right? It's now known today as the Dear Boss letter. I reckon it's probably one of the most infamous letters ever written. The whole thing was pretty much full of what I think the politicians today would call bellicose rhetoric but it was just arrogant, mocking, sneering and challenging all the way through. It starts like this. Dear boss, <laughs> I keep on hearing the police have caught me, but they won't fix me just yet. I've laughed when they look so clever and talk about being on the right track. That's that, isn't it? To the authorities straight mm -hmm. off. It gets quite nasty. He says, I'm down on pause. I'm concerned about structural problems that this house may have. Very worried. Gherkin. We're on an escalator at Oxford Circus uh, tube station and uh, look at this. Beef Eater advertising their pink gin and giving everybody a massive headache. Thanks Beef Eater. At the Apollo Victoria Theatre, home of Roadworks and Wicked. And even with my uh, weight loss so far this year, uh, it'll be a while before I'll be uh, defying gravity. And I'm back, and that was loads of fun as well. So if you do happen to be uh, down in London and you're struggling for different things to do, you can always check out uh, the Jack the Ripper tour. 
Now the wind's getting up a bit now, so I don't want to uh, spend too much longer on this vlog. Don't forget, if I get my phone fixed, oh, and by the way, here's the saga, it continues with the phone. Uh, took it to two repair shops, one that said it is the battery, uh, another one that said it is the charging port. So I have no idea what to do with that. Fingers crossed I'll work it out for you and we'll be able to get that live stream on a week on Tuesday. So as you can see, I've had my hair done, ready for the summer in Greece. Uh, and as promised, I'm going to show you why guys in their mid-40s should not wear skinny jeans. Look at this. a bit of an embarrassment to be honest and to give you the full effect here we are this is it middle-aged man in skinny jeans and with that I bid you a fond farewell uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you so much for watching this vlog next one we're back in Thailand the following one I will be in Greece, so stand by for the live stream on Tuesday. And then the following Thai Day Friday will uh, be, I don't know, some video of the journey. Hope you're having a good time. Hope the weather's great wherever you are. Take care of yourselves and vlog off.